Welcome back, Internet, to the CNET live stage at CES. We've uh, got Samsung's keynote coming up at 6.30 p.m., but uh, right now we're going to get some first looks at some products from Procter & Gamble. Uh, joining us now are Lisa Ernst with the Oral BIO, and on the far end of the desk, we have uh, Lauren Thaman with the Opti Precision Wand. So mm -hmm. uh, let's start with the Oral BIO. I have an Oral B toothbrush at home. It's electric. Uh, tell us about this new, this looks very fancy. It is pretty fancy. And in fact, it is completely different than the Oral-B product that you have at home with one exception. And that is that the head is still round, as you can see. Right. Because we have found that that's the best shaped cup around your teeth and okay. right along your gum line for better cleaning. But everything Before from then is reimagined. So we've got a new magnetic drive system that directs energy to the bristle trip tip. So you get our oscillating rotating motion as well as these micro vibrations. So it feels really smooth on your teeth and gums. And what we found is because of that movement, people are able to brush on the inside of their teeth a lot better. And what that translates to is the best clinical and cleaning performance that we've ever seen with Oral-B. The other thing we have is this really fun interactive OLED display. And when you turn it on, it greets you, and My you can- toothbrush has an OLED now. Exactly. <laughs> and it gives you um, the opportunity. So when you brush, we have an app. Okay. And we have um, the most advanced artificial intelligence in the brush that we've ever had. It tracks 16 zones in your mouth when you're brushing. So we've got a brush, and I'm gonna connect this brush. And it tells me hello. You can see that? Yeah, so let's see. I'm going to hold this up to the camera, too. There we All go. All right. Then we can watch both of them. One of them's connected to the app. And what color would you like it to show on your screen? Oh, I like, uh, let's see, it's purple. So let's go with, uh, let's go with a nice purple as well. All let's right. match. Let's match our. And the light just turned purple for you. Very nice. All right. And now what we want to do, I'll take it back from you, is brush. OK. I'm going to hold this phone up. So that we can right. we can brush, we can see the app, right? Let's see what's the going on. The other thing that's happening is you've got green now showing me that I've got the right amount of pressure. Oh, okay. As I brush, and but if, if you I go push too hard, hard it, turns it turns red. Red. So you get feedback, and as I said, it's got a really smooth motion, and it just glides along the tooth surface. Okay, and it and it's showing in the app here where you should be brushing. Exactly. And it will give you a score at the end of your brushing to tell you how well you did in terms of covering all the areas in your mouth. And if you do really well and learn from the artificial intelligence, what we found is that we can get people, 80% of people will brush better than they ever did before. And if I stop now at about 44 seconds, which is okay. the average time that consumers brush in the US, it gives me a frowny face. Which tells me I did not do my job very well. Not enough. Right. Because you're supposed to brush two minutes twice a day. So we're trying to make this as seconds. simple as possible for consumers to be able to use the brush, enjoy the experience. As you can see, it's really beautiful. As you yeah. said, it's fancier versus what you have at home today. And we really think that this is our best brush ever. And we know that we're delivering better clinical results so we can get people to gum health. All right, when so, they were so not healthy to begin so with. So if I want to upgrade, when can I upgrade? How much is it going to set me back? Okay, so it'll be available at all retailers starting in August. Okay. It's going to be around 200 to 300 dollars depending on all the features that you choose. So competitive with other electric all the super toothbrushes in that toothbrushes sort of in the market. Right? Okay, great. Awesome. Well, that is really cool and thank you for showing us this. I think thank it's you really for interesting. Us. We have this new high-tech kind of OLED in there and you know, don't make your toothbrush sad, guys. That's the moral of this story. Um, all right, Bridget, what you got going on over there? I hear there's some very interesting, uh, some, some beauty things happening that I might be very interested in. Well, Vegas is a place of magic, and I think they got some magic going on here. All right, I'm with Lauren. Can you tell us what you have, this makeup applicator? Sure, this is Opte. Opte. I, Opte Sounds scans, very fancy. corrects, and detects <laughs> hyperpigmentation in your skin. Okay. So what it does, and I'm going to gen demonstrate it on Jennifer here. She's our model. Opte easily s we're has gonna, a blue light we're on gonna it. We're going to turn up your microphone really quick. Just give us one second. Okay. Okay. Ayaz, by the way, I just want to say I'm so sorry. I feel like 
As we fix the audio issue that we're having, I just want to apologize because you, we, in fact, Bridget and I discussed it, and you are too perfect to need really anything <laughs> the here at the table at CES. I do CES. that a lot. I spent a lot of money on these teeth, so. <laughs> You've broken so many of the, the smart mirrors at the show because it's, like, too perfect. Too can't, handsome, I know. Can't judge. It's a real problem of mine, and I'm seeking help for it. They, no, go. don't ever seek help. <laughs> All right. Abte has a blue light, and what the blue light actually does okay. is it accentuates the color tonal differences of your skin. So it's a doing that. I want to get close up uh, on, on, on her cheeks um, so you can see, and I'll move your hair back a little bit, Jennifer, if you don't mind. So it's scanning and also printing like makeup pigment yeah, on her skin. On your skin. So you see Jennifer has gorgeous skin, except for some minor imperfections. And what Opte does, it scans your skin, taking 200 frames per second of information, and then takes that information, and it processes it through a, uh, a proprietary algorithm, generating 70,000 lines of code. I'm sorry, it's a little awkward here. And then it uses that to generate with, with every brush yeah, stroke yeah. it's getting a lot lighter with every we're stroke we're still having another we're still having an audio issue i want to make sure that everybody can hear what is happening right now because this is really interesting yeah um so it's scanning okay so yeah explain to me a little bit about what she, uh what's happening on jennifer's face because this is uh it's it's both scanning and it's actually printing on her face yeah at the yeah. same time and it's scanning her skin and it's taking 200 frames per second it's then taking that data, running it through a proprietary algorithm, generating 70,000 lines of code. That code is telling an inkjet printer where to precisely put down the, micro, the optimizing serum in a camouflage pattern to instantly make these spots invisible to your eye and fade them over time. So the difference is what people would normally do is take a big old hunk of concealer and just slather it on your face, but this is just doing very minimal uh, uh, makeup, essentially, just in the places that need it. Well, it allows the natural beauty of her skin to be revealed because the light is able to be reflected from her skin. And as you can see, how the difference in, you want to go that way? The we're difference in, right yeah. Oh. Um, we're, we're checking out a little bit of the video that you guys have um, of this product. Uh, I think Bridget made a really good point where I think We've seen a lot of, especially with beauty bloggers on YouTube and everything, a lot of makeup, to, especially when you need to cover something that maybe is not easily covered by, you know, a lightweight concealer or a tinted moisturizer. And this feels like a really good way to sort of attack those problem areas that you might feel like you have without really overdoing it. Well, the amazing yeah. thing about spots or hyperpigmentation, hyperpigmentation is the number one indicator of not only attractiveness and youth, but health. And so women and men, actually, because men are now, you can use this without wearing makeup, are able to eliminate those things which allow people to th maybe not, allow them to show up and be their real self. So it's been a really great thing to come to the market this summer. Now, you, yeah, you were at CES last year, but yeah, we now were. this product, what's different? What's perfected in it? Just the so fact that you're coming to market? So not only is the, the, the big di difference is the user interface is much, much better. It's faster, it's more reliable, more portable, but it's also connected. So we're like a personal coach. We can tell if she's able to use it correctly, and then we're able to contact her and say, hey, you may want to try this. You're not ho holding it perpendicular to your skin. We're able to tell when the, uh, the, refill char the refill is almost out, so she knows to order a new one and never be without her opte for a single day. Do you the need like a special match for everyone's skin What's or like what do you load it with? There's three colors, fair, medium, and deep, and those three colors cover 99% of the skin tones in the U.S. So it's, that's really amazing that women from the very fairest to the very darkest skin can get a perfect match and camouflage their skin perfectly. Is this something I can feel on my arm? Yeah. or Okay, so I got some freckles here. We'll try it on you. Oh, it feels kind of like a toothbrush, or actually just like oh, rubbing wow. across you. And I don't even feel anything except like little light feathery bristles. Yeah, you can see and there you go. It's already lighting up. They just disappear right before your eyes. What I'd love to show you is... It doesn't feel like, no, it's like, a like feather. liquid. Yeah, it just feels I like the brushes are going... One of the biggest things people do incorrectly with this, they think it's like a shaver and they have to push it against their skin. But it's just the rollers here, just gently roll it across your skin. I can hear it go click, 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 click. I guess that's the printing, right? Mm -hmm. It's the printing. There's uh, the inkjet printer in here is the, th uh, the nozzle the size like of anything. a human hair. Huh. Size of the human hair? Yes. Well, this is really the amazing thing. Okay, Watch this. Let's get another close-up of Jennifer's cheek. 
And that way you can see how it is when yeah. she right. takes it off. You ready? Way in there. See Come what on, it looks like. Yeah, close. see the difference. Yeah, close. really. There we, there, we there we go. You forget what your skin looked like before. And as you can see, it puts so little down, that's all that's on the paper. That's wow. all that's on the, it's just a cleansing wipe. There's so almost it, nothing. Wow. So if someone wanted to invest in this, what are they going to have to get into? Like a subscription for more refills? Like what, what is the whole package? We haven't finalized the exact pricing and uh, package, but our expectation is the consumer will be able to get it whatever way she wants. Okay. She either can buy the starter kit and then get refills. She could buy it on her own. She could buy the starter kit and get a subscription so she's never without her Opte. Each, each um, precision serum lasts about two months. 60 usage. And it's detecting all sorts of imperfections or only certain kinds of? It's, it works pretty much on all imperfections except raised imperfections. It will, okay. it will camouflage the raised imperfections, but of course they'll still be raised. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is pretty interesting stuff. Is this going to change for a lot of people who don't want to wear a lot of heavy makeup? Yeah. How long was this in development for? Like how, around how long does a product like this go from kind of an idea or a concept to something that you're actually going to release to the public? Actually, this took about 10 years to develop. One of the re real reasons it took so long, we needed the tech industry to catch up to what we needed to be able to put in here. We needed, we needed smartphone cameras to be small enough and cost efficient enough that we were able to put them in here. We needed the printing industry to be able to have a thermal inkjet printer that could print white, which has never been done before. Thermal inkjet printers print dyes, which are liquids, whites are solids. So be able to keep that suspended in here and keep it actually be effective was a huge technological breakthrough. So it took so long, mainly because we were waiting for the tech industry to catch up with what we needed. Wow, and that's gonna be later this year. Later this year. Wow, very cool, thank you. That's thank you sure. for this. That is, that's actually really impressive when you took the makeup off, like that was, that was amazing. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Lisa, Lauren, really appreciate it. I'm, I'm ready to upgrade my toothbrush for sure. All right guys, it's time for a break. We have a few new First Look videos in from the show floor, and when we come back, we have Claire Riley with Impossible Foods.